Hello everybody, welcome to the channel if you're new here. Welcome back if you are not. It's Baby Jesus here with another gold making guide. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at stone, which is most likely one of the first materials you encounter in the game and somewhat overlooked in the gold making community. So today we're going to take a look at the viability of it in terms of gold making, how much you can make per hour, and maybe some alternatives that you might want to take a look at if gold or if stone isn't really moving well on your servers. Now before we get too far into it, if you do find anything beneficial in this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything, and 97.1% uh, of my viewers aren't actually subscribed. So I'd really appreciate it if you did take the time to go hit that subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. And if you didn't like the video, well, make sure you leave us a comment down below to let us know what you didn't like so how, uh, so I can improve on future content uh, later. Now, let's hop right into the nitty-gritty of it, guys. So... Remember, everything that I talk about today is going to be completely dependent on my server. Therefore, the numbers are going to change based on your server. This may be viable on yours. This may not be viable on yours. Take everything with a grain of salt. I'm just here to give you guys some ideas of things to look at, at for potential gold making for your you specifically in your character. So before we go too far, I want to show you guys what stone is selling for so you guys can see the calculations that I've done. So I'm not just making things up here. So you guys can see on my server stone is selling for about 12 gold a piece or 0.12 gold a piece. Pardon me. I wish it was selling for 12. Um, we're going to be talking about stone blocks, stone bricks, um, and slivers, uh, slivers of adder stone. So you guys can see here adder stone is selling for 39.95 on my server and stone blocks are selling for 14 cents which is basically the same as the base level so don't you shouldn't be looking at that and stone bricks is selling at 64 cents so guys i wanted to let you guys know where i was farming stone i was farming stone primarily around windsward i did want to check out most of these starter areas so i did farm stone around windsward around everfall and around monarch's bluff you guys typically want to go into foresty areas to get as much stone as possible but you can also find a ton near water now, interestingly enough, regardless of where I farmed stone, I almost always came out with the same amount per 10 minutes. Very interesting. Didn't matter if I was mining it in Windsor, didn't matter if I was mining it in Everfall or Monarch's Bluff, I always came out with roughly the same amount, obviously taking averages here. And those numbers are as follows. So I did five runs at 10 minutes apiece with no gear, only my uh, Star Metal Pickaxe. And then I did five more runs at... 10 minutes a piece with all blue so all about four percent uh mining luck gear and these are how things differed so on average the change in stone was only about eight difference per 10 minutes which is negligible um the only thing that did change is when i had the full luck gear i did manage to get two slivers of adder stone whereas with the 10 minutes every 10 minute run i didn't get a single sliver of adder stone drop so you'll notice there's a bit higher of a gold per hour when you do run full luck gear because of that potential of getting sliver of adder stone. Now, I don't know if I was incredibly unlucky without the gear or extremely lucky with it. If two slivers are a high rate drop, I can't remember if they nerfed it recently. But here are your numbers. So if you're running this as a new player and you don't have any um, additional luck gear or additional material drop gear, I believe I have a bit on my star metal pickaxe, but negligible. This is what you can expect to make on your servers if it's selling at 0.12 gold. You can expect to make around 1,400 gold per hour or about 240 gold every 10 minutes. Now, again, this is in virtually any of the starter areas. It's the only places I've checked because I want to make this as user-friendly or new user-friendly as possible. Now, interestingly enough, like I said, I ran it five more times after this to see what my average would be when I was full luckier. I didn't get any gear that increases the percentage amount dropped. Interestingly enough, I only average about eight more stone every 10 minutes. So basically non-existent in terms of uh, amount that you'll gather. But what I did get was, again, those two slivers of adder stone, which are selling for just shy of 40 gold a piece on my server, which means that you up that to just over 320 gold every 10 minutes or just over 1900 gold per hour. So an extremely viable way to make some gold with a material that is virtually universally accessible uh, and you don't really have to worry about Again, people farming it only outside of your city because of the global trading posts now. You don't have to worry about always being in your primary city or the most populated city. You can farm this outside of any city and walk it back in, put it on the trade post. Now, I do want to stress, just like the wood video, stone is heavy. I only have two bags and around 2,000 stone. I'm capped out. I think I fit like 
2050 stone so very convenient that i was getting just shy of it but i'm borderline overweight whenever i have all this stone so make sure you are staying close to a city so that you can quickly either bring that to your storage or bring that straight into the training post post it up and get back out to mining very important if not you're going to be losing a lot of time or spending a lot of azoth for your gold making endeavors now i did want to provide some alternatives and it's something i should have been doing in the other videos as well just in case stone is not moving well on your server I did some some quick calculations here or some some quick looks on my server here uh, at some alternatives. So we can see here stone blocks are an alternative. If you're gathering stone, you can go and level up your uh, your stone cutting or jewel cutting, whatever one it is, um, on the bench, and then subsequently sell the stone blocks for gold. Now, if you're only out here for gold making, these alternatives don't 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 do them. You guys can see here one stone block takes four stone. If each stone is selling for 12 cents a piece and the stone block is selling for 14 cents a piece, it would have to be at 48 cents a piece just to get the same amount of gold back. Plus, you're paying a crafting cost, which is going to be negligible in the grand scheme of things, but it's still there. You can't ignore it. So, probably not the best. And an even worse alternative, if you're really uh, a bit of a masochist here, is crafting stone bricks, which is a step up from stone block. It takes four stone blocks, so now you're at eight stone total which means that they would have to be selling for you know close to a gold per which is not the case it's selling for 64 cents a piece but where it gets even more interesting is it also takes a coarse sandpaper which on my server is selling for close to two gold per piece which means all of a sudden this better have a nice big three in front of it or it is not worth your time don't make this if you're here for gold if you're here to get xp and try and recuperate some of your costs maybe but if you're just here to make gold don't don't do these alternatives. It's not worth it. Even if stone isn't really selling quickly, put it up there. It might sell a little bit. Even if you sell half of this, you're going to make more money than you would if selling any of these just because of the inherent costs of making them. So guys, in the grand scheme of it, to, to summarize everything, you can make a good amount of gold per hour. It's a reasonable amount. It's not extravagant. It's not over the top. You're not going to be making four, five, six, ten thousand 10,000 gold per hour like some guides are out there. But 2,000, just shy of 2,000 gold or even 1,500 gold an hour is nothing to shake a stick at. That is a good amount of gold. That is a reasonable amount of gold. And it is a reasonable amount of gold for you to make consistently. So, that being said, guys, that is it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If it did bring any benefit to you whatsoever, you did learn anything out there or give you some insight as to what other servers are looking like, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Again, 97% of you aren't subscribed, so I'd really appreciate that. And if you did really like it, leave a comment down below of what you enjoyed or what you didn't. And last but definitely not least, make sure that you leave a comment to tell me how I can improve on future content. That being said, have yourselves an amazing day. Take care of yourselves. Be kind. And I will see you in the next one. Take care now. See ya.